let me make an analogy. An analogy between programs and recipes. So a program is a lot like a recipe. Each one is a list of steps to be carried out with rules for how to tell when you're done or when to go back. At the end, there's a certain result. If you cook, you probably exchange recipes with your friends. And you probably change recipes too. And if you've made changes and you like the results and your friends like eating it, then you might give them the, the changed version of the recipe. So imagine a world where you can't change a recipe because somebody has gone out of his way to set it up so that it's impossible to change it. And imagine that if you share the recipe with your friends, they will call you a pirate and try to put you in prison for years. hacker in its correct and original sense to describe a person who pursues computer programming as a kind of artistic passion and who also is part of or identifies with the hacker culture which is a group of programmers historically that has produced the internet and Linux and the World Wide Web. I guess you have to be a hacker in order to understand the specific mindset. That is, to rebel against the idea that the underlying source code for a computer operating system should be withheld. This open source attitude doesn't mix smoothly with the concept of free market economy. It is also a threat to the traditional concepts of copyright and intellectual property. Companies like Microsoft, that base their business on closed source code, have tactically molded free software into an image of a monster of almost McCarthyan proportions. All this made up one of the strangest success stories of the 1990s, epitomized by the community's gifted leader and invaluable icon, who planted the seed for a movement whose ramifications continue to spread. Linus Torvalds has created a data system that has led the whole branch of Linux, Linux, an operating system that now runs 8 million of the world's computers. Wired lehti julistaa tämän nuoren miehen väinämöisen veroiseksi shamaaniksi, jonka kehittämä Linux käyttöjärjestelmä on internetin upein mestarituote. Torvalds decision to distribute Linux for free and reveal its underlying source code has made him a quasi-cult figure. Linus Turvas data shedee som drämmer om att fälla Microsoft jätten Bill Gates to Gordon. Det finns de som säger att Linus Turvals har åstadkommit ett mirakel. These worker ants are constantly in contact with each other by modems. Releasing code, encouraging feedback and modifications to create the best possible operating system in the world. I didn't want anybody else to have to go through the same thing I had. We were trying to find something like Linux, so I decided, hmm, maybe some other computer science student out there needs his own operating system, then he doesn't have to start from scratch. It wasn't the big fight against the windmills. It was not Don Quixote against the world trying to, to make a better place. Come, come, we'll have mat. We'll have mat. I much prefer working with people over email than than face to face. Face to face you tend to get into all these meeting arguments and all the details that really shouldn't matter. 
Over email, you have to kind of think a bit before you send off a reply. Just because we're not in the same place doesn't mean that we, we aren't sort of together in a social sense. It's like one very, very large shared office. We even have our arguments and squabbles over the internet in the same kind of way. I mean, this is a huge project. There has never been a software project that I know of that's been worked on by so many people from so many dispersed places to put this all together. The most innovative thing about the Linux community is not its source code, but the social machine that has developed around the source code. What Linux is, uh, I suppose I would say, uh, every computer is different. Every, every, every floppy disk is, drive is different. Every hard disk is different. Every, every uh, video controller is different. And Linux is the thing that knows how to make all these different kinds of parts on the computer do the simple task, things that, that people would consider are simple tasks like write my file out to the disk or read this file off this floppy I have or draw this image on the screen. Linux knows how to talk to these different pieces of hardware and make them do the common operations that we need com computers to do every day. What do we mean when we say Linux? Some mean the whole computer operating system on which everything that happens in a computer lays. Some say Linux, pinpointing at the single most important program, the kernel. It has to go back to the person who started it, to the person who somehow used the net to create a community of people who all felt that their contributions were being valued. And that ability to foster cooperation could very well be something that could only come from a person raised in a country like Finland. Nineteen sixty nine. It seems to have been such a good year. The landing of the moon, Woodstock, the birth of ARPANET that led to Internet. The first steps of Unix, the operating system for big computers. 